For our third example, if delta x equal to cosine x, find delta of 0, delta of pi over 2, delta of pi, delta of negative x, and delta of pi minus y. So first, delta of 0 muna. Okay? Delta of x is equal to cosine x. Ito yung original equation natin. So, papalit natin yung x sa 0. So, delta of 0 is equal to cosine 0. And according sa ating pre-calculus subject, under sa topic ng graphs of sine and cosine functions, if x is 0, the cosine of 0 is equal to 1. Okay? So, kailangan natin tandaan yan kasi special angles ito ng sine and cosine. Kung hindi man natin ma-memorize lahat, Na may, kung may calculator kayo, you have to just input cosine, then 0. Pero dapat yung mode ng calculator ninyo is dapat naka-radians, hindi naka-degrees. Okay? Next example, delta of pi over 2. So, delta of pi over 2 is equal to cosine pi over 2. Balik ulit tayo dun sa table natin hahanapin natin yung pi over 2 at yung equivalent niya in cosine. So, that is equal to 0. For letter C, delta of pi. Balik ulit tayo sa table in order to find the cosine of pi. So, ito yung pi. So, cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. Okay? Next, delta of negative x. Delta of negative x is equal to cosine of negative x. So, variable na yung ating angle. And, may rule tayo again sa pre-calculus, the identities for negatives. Okay, so, syempre, yung cosine negative x lang yung kukunan natin ng value, which is equal siya kung ipapositive din natin yung cosine x. Okay, so, delta of negative x is equal to cosine of x. Okay, next is delta of pi minus y. Delta of pi minus y is equal to cosine pi minus y. So, paano naman kung yung angle natin cosine may dalawang values? Okay? So, balik ulit tayo sa pre-calculus, the sum and difference identities. Okay, hahanapin natin yung difference kasi minus ito, difference ng cosine. So, ito yon, Cosine x minus y which is equivalent to cosine x cosine y plus sine x sine y. Kung gusto natin siyang isimplify, hindi natin basta-basta ma-distribute yung cosine sa dalawang values. Magiging cosine pi minus cosine y. Mali yon. Dapat sundin natin yung rule ng trigonometry under our pre-calculus cosine x minus y equal to cosine x cosine y plus sine x sine y. So, simplifying, cos pi, cos y minus sin pi, sin y, according sa ating rule. Kasi yung x natin dito is pi. Okay? Then, balik ulit tayo doon sa ating table kanina para malaman natin yung values ng cosine pi, since pi is constant, and our sine pi. Okay? Ito yon. Yung sine pi natin is equal to 0. Yung cosine pi natin is negative 1. So, yung cosine pi, papalitan natin ng negative 1. Copy the cosine y kasi hindi natin siya masisimplify. Minus sine pi is 0 sine y. So, 0 times sine y is equal to 0. And negative 1 times cosine y is negative cosine Y. So, the result for the delta of pi minus y is equal to negative cosine y.